Jeremy, thank you for joining equities.com here at the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. It's an interesting year with the election and we're in the midst of graduation season. Tell me, do you think it is a tough job market for the soon to be graduates? I do. I think that it's going to be a very difficult job market for recent graduates. And actually, um, I was reading on the train up from New Jersey to New York today that 40% um, of the unemployment is actually made up of people who are 21 to 25. We have 2.8 million graduates with bachelor's, master's, and PhDs that are about to hit the employment world. And of those people, they make up a majority of the unemployment. The millennials are certainly part of it. What sectors are you finding most opportunities are coming from today? We're finding that it's coming from the accounting and finance world. It's coming from IT. Um, in the IT world, I think there's only 2 or 3% of people who are unemployed. Um, in accounting and finance, uh, uh, CPAs, they're very difficult to find at this point in time. So in those worlds, um, Wall Street and the hedge fund world as well, you're finding roles that are opening up and where in 2008 and 2009, when they were taking the people and making the fluffy roles and, and collapsing them, those roles are now starting to come back where the analysts and they're adding more to the staff. So we're finding a lot of opportunity in that world. What would you say are just three general ways to find a job today? You mentioned it's a very crowded market. Any tools or any words of advice? Yes, yeah, sure. I think the tools of advice are as follows. Number one, everybody has LinkedIn. Um, social media in general. Um, Facebook, LinkedIn, they're great to network. Um, network with people like myself, network with people like yourself. I had somebody the other day on LinkedIn ask me to introduce him to the head of a hospital. So um, I think that's a great way. Um, job boards. You have to be careful though on the job boards where if you put your resume there, they're going to go everywhere and then most of the time your resume gets looked at from all kinds of different people. So I would say that that's something you have to be careful about. But I'd say job boards, social media, and through word of mouth. I have to ask because we hear so much about what millennials are looking for and how not only employers but workplaces around the world should be really thinking about their future. Do you get that question asked a lot, what millennials looking for? Yeah, and it's kind of hard though because of the demographics and HR sensitive kind of things. But one of the things that we try to do is we ask to come in to see the balance and what the environment's like. And I have one client that they go to work in uh, Crocs and jeans and t-shirts. Um, and it's a publicly traded company that's headquartered in Philadelphia. So I think the one thing that you have to start to understand is, is that dressing is different today. You're, you know, you're not dressed in a suit anymore. Um, I mean, I used to come to work in a suit to tie all the time. Now I'm coming to work sometimes in a, a t-shirt and you kind of have to think like the millennials because they're the brightest, they're the, the ones that are out there that are really going to change this world. You know, the, the guy, who, the, the little eight-year-old kid who's sitting at home right now, he's the next one who's going to create this app that's going to change our world. And that's exactly what you really have to sort of think about is how are you going to attract these smart people? And in the old days they'd say you have to come in in a, in a tie and a suit. Even I go into law firms that are clients now, they're not like that anymore. Yeah, it's a great point. And, um, and those are the types of people that are a big part of the equities.com demographic. Well, Jeremy, thank you again for joining thank us here at the NASDAQ. And again, we wish you continued success. We appreciate your thoughts.